Oh, I was gonna say I got in a bit of a Twitter spat like early in this morning because like Oh please let's hear somebody it. Somebody was oh, like somebody was like fucking I'll just pull it up. So do you guys let's know what go? Sticker Mule did? Yeah, Sticker Mule's been known for a very long time. I don't know what they've recently done, but I know I do. Time. I got that, that yeah. email. But you Sticker got Mule email? Sticker yeah. Mule is known for being what is it they support like they support right wing Trump, politics yeah. and, and a bunch of other like anti LGBTQ stuff. Yeah. Well uh, they're like knowledge. the Chick fil A of motherfucking stickers. <laughs> No, so, so they sent yeah, yeah they, go, go ahead, they sent an email and posted. Apparently, Ruby got it. I didn't get the email, but like I got the you know I got the post. Uh, TLDR: Trump shot. Support Trump. If you don't support Trump, bad. Uh, people terrified to support Trump. America shouldn't live in fuel fear. I support Trump. Blah blah blah. Oh, get a shirt for one dollar oh. off. <laughs> like it was a coupon in the middle oh, of that. That was not included in the Twitter post. Oh, yeah, there's a coupon in the email. Yeah, so that was their post yesterday. Oh, and Jesus. So everybody was like, what the fuck? And Beta made a post that was like, and just like that, nearly all of their furry clientele was lost. Any whore, I'm just going to post this here. And they posted a bunch of alternatives, which I will screenshot now so I can use it in the video. Fucking Ruby makes stickers. There's so many. Like, if you're a furry and you're trying to say, I can't get stickers anywhere else, you're not looking hard enough. Yeah, or you, no. Or what you're really saying is, is I'm too cheap to. So okay. Wild Prince is a uh, <laughs> a sticker run a furry sticker run company. Uh, yes. I know that Sticker Ninja supports a lot of good causes and has very competitive prices to Sticker Mule. Mm -hmm. Sticker App is another one that my friend uses. They've got a lot of cool features like glow in the dark and sparkly stickers, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Like there are so many better alternatives. Yeah. Um, yeah. Absolutely. No. So this guy replies. All right. I don't. I don't know what. I, I don't know. So this this party even, replies and they're like. Perhaps people shouldn't judge somebody simply because of who they want to vote for in the coming elections. Oh. I will still use Sticker Mule for future items because they make some good quality products. Wow, this has 12 replies now. Holy shit, people are killing her. Jesus, I didn't realize that. It ratioed anyway, for her. I was just like, no, I think judging people who are voting for the guy trying to take away the rights and protections of LGBT people is pretty damn fair, but that's just me. And this dude has just been spinning wheels in the fucking replies where he's like, I wouldn't be surprised if people disagreed with the LGBT act by Trump's, uh, but they would still vote for him based on other political changes. That being nope. said, one oh, cannot be perceived God. as evil just because they decided to vote for somebody. I never said that people who voted for Trump was evil. First of all, that's kind of a weird thing to throw in there. It is really funny that right now they're victimizing themselves so much. I'm afraid to tell people that I vote for Trump. You fucking Are should you? be. You Are you? should be. No, yeah. they fucking should be, though. It's no, crazy. because I have a whole thing I can go on about this, and we're not doing it this episode, but TLDR, okay, even back in the 90s and, like, earlier than that, there was a lot of systemic racism and problems that were just more or less swept under the rug. It's th that's why people can look back in, the, in, back in the day and say, oh, it was such a better time. It's because they're mostly, they were mostly, the people that say that were white. Yeah. A, and they were benefiting from privilege. But, look, when when you talk politics, politics are supposed to be based around policy. Policy is supposed to be like, okay, we have different, like, trickle-down down e economics and stuff like that, where it's like, we have differing agreements, or uh, we don't agree on what is better for the lower or middle class when it comes to taxation and uh, policies like that. Gun policies, all that kind of stuff. That's policies, right? Yes. When you're talking about basic human rights for individuals and how they can yeah. express themselves that is not policy and when you're looking to if you look at project 2025 and the heritage foundation oh, where God. suddenly almost all furries are supposed to be like fucking imprisoned that's not <laughs> policy that's so crazy. you can't say when you're like oh i can't believe you're gonna say that about voting for somebody because it's not the same thing that you're talking about no. We're talking about lives here, motherfucker. Yeah. And, that's and, just... and to try and water it down to the other way and say, oh, it's this policy. It's not. It's a, a, a it threat to democracy. You vote for it. We should all get along and hold hands. I well, wish it was that. Literally wants to kill us, you know? Sure, I'll hold hands with them. Yeah, yeah, of course. I fucking yeah. wish that was it. I wish we were in a place where it didn't matter if we voted Republican or Democrat because all it was going to affect... The That's different the ways of taxation and some other things. No, it's literal people fucking lives. Yeah, no, that was like Biden 
posted uh, a statement where they're like, oh, we, we need to come together as one America in the same night that Marjorie Taylor Greene called all Democrats uh, p like that. That's pretty cool, dude. Yeah. You know, yeah. there's no there's no middle ground with people like that. Anyway, Trump got shot. If you weren't there for the after bark, I have a job update. Uh, Ooh. Oh, that's that's another. I need some oohs and ahs in the Ooh, soundboard. Fucking Ruby. First of all, we, we, we skipped a step. No, Who are fair. we? Who are we? What is this? Uh, what are people listening to? Uh, bark. Bark. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome to our podcast that we always forget to intro. <laughs> Anyway, Solace, oh. your job. Please do tell. Yeah, so if you weren't there for Friday, Friday I actually got two random uh, uh, meetings that came out of nowhere because somebody uh, had to quickly leave our company amicably, but, like, you know, it was sudden. And basically I was told, hey, you are going to be moved to this role. This role means you're only going to work for one of our clients. You're going to be the guy for the client. It's not a pay raise. Ooh. But you don't have to deal with all the other fucking clients you just got to work for these but we audit them every week and you're going to be under more scrutiny but also you're the guy that's representing us for a six-figure client so i'm only as of today actually uh i am the four month mark yo let's there. go so it's only been four months we've only been a third of the a third of the year in and uh, I'm giving i'm i think from what it sounds like that i'm giving i'm being giving responsibility I was gonna and say, so to, yeah. uh, from the outside looking in, the fact that you're already being tasked with like being the sole re representative of a big client after just four months, like that, that means that probably means you're doing a great job. So, well, basically, what back, I was man. explained, the person that had it before had been working for the company for a couple of years. They didn't, they weren't in that same that in that role the entire time. They got moved to it uh, because they were really solid. I've been yeah. told that basically, no word is good news. No news is good news from this uh, this client. So basically, uh, she was awesome, kicked ass, and they never heard from that client. So I meant they were happy with us. So now that's my job. My job is to kick ass and hopefully never hear from them because Dude, they're only they only reach out when they want to say something's wrong. So that's that's my job now. That transition into this role started today. So I got to work on some of those orders today for this specific client. And I'm not gonna lie, a little stressful. It's like, uh it's hard to go into. I don't want I don't really want to detail too much of my work, but basically I have to do all of the work for this client now, so there's a whole different part of my department that would normally, like, look up phone numbers for employers and shit, you know? Yeah. They would do a little bit some of the back work uh, first. So these orders I receive come from another company, uh, this client, and that's the problem, is they, they don't do any of the work for me. So I have to go and do all the... Uh, the the hard work and get numbers and get all the things and it definitely took a little bit more time so i was like uh oh i'm am i gonna get my orders done today like i did am i gonna screw up my first day <laughs> <laughs> no i ended up uh i ended up knocking it out in time the problem is so one of my favorite orders to do from the other clients is national student clearinghouse if you don't know a lot of colleges are signed up through this third party where basically you just go plug in names, birth dates, and social security so we can go look up degrees like oh. very quickly. You should plug in my um, name. Oh, you would have to know my social security. Never mind. Oh, uh, that and it it costs money. Oh, OK. So, never, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> so our company would get charged for a random verification for nobody. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't do that. But oh, um, uh, is my favorite because realistically, like. I could I could honestly knock out like a lot of those and it'd take a minute or two like literally two minutes in order if I really hammered them out. So this client doesn't do those because their own team does that in their side. So why are they gonna push it to me to do them? Yeah. So I just got uh, very unfortunately my my easiest orders are now taken away from me. <laughs> damn. Damn. So damn. it's technically easier work because I have less clients to worry about and having like different directives and different like uh expectations for like order completions and stuff i only have the one yeah but <laughs> this one is much more specific and also is 
more scrutiny. Yeah. But no, like I was told, uh, I was actually suggested by the person that does the audits for this client, the weekly audits for them. They suggested me. And what's funny is I had never actually interacted with this person, like on a one on one basis. I've seen them in like the big group meetings we've had, but I've never really like talked to them one on one. They've just done some background audits that I didn't even fucking know about. And they liked how consistent my work was and how good of a worker I was. And so they suggested me and my my boss boss who helped me get the job in the first place agreed. And then the other person agreed and they said, all right, you're the guy. So there you go. you're the guy. Look, oh, I want to do good so I can leverage. So it's not a pay raise right now, but like a year, for, you know, yeah, eight yeah. months from now, eight, for, eight months from now. Like, yeah. And like you were saying, it's not like you have less like widespread to worry about and more focused work. So it's like, it's not, I, 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 I don't know anything about your job. Like I imagine I it's not like, an incredible amount of like more work it's just different work you know no it's the same amount of work in general yeah. i will say so like the pain in the ass today is and if you guys don't know this you could assume verifying high school diplomas is a pain in the ass and that comes down to a lot of factors of like i you know there's people that are applying that were born in like the 60s and 70s that graduated in the 80s or like 80s those records are usually either kept, I get it, I, I didn't know this, but they're either kept at either district side or I've had to call some high schools and they're like, yeah, I, we have to go to the vault, which sounds like, you know, they're going to do some Indiana Jones, <laughs> like vault. fucking dungeon crawling <laughs> to go get some fucking <laughs> file and some cabinet way out, you know, guarded by some tomb soldiers. But yeah, so like I've, I've actually been wind. on, <laughs> <laughs> I've had to, I've, I've had to, uh, you know, put, put on hold for a handful of minutes because they had to go to some, yeah, some record that was in some filing cabinet in some other room, you know? So those take a little bit longer, and a lot of them also use, like, other third parties that are not anywhere as near as easy as the, the clearinghouse for college degrees and stuff. So it's a lot more time-consuming. So that's why I'm like, damn, my work is generally the same, but I'm doing the, the technically harder orders now because that's... This client basically is that's it. Their job is like, hey, we, we're we're taking care of our easy orders, and we're pushing you the the orders that is you're our overflow guy is basically what I was called. Yeah. So yeah, so I just have to I have to work harder, which again it just it changes the pace in which I have to work and what I was used to. So today was a little bit of a stress. Well, we also had our freaking biweekly meeting, our department meeting. So there was like twenty five minutes of my day taken away there too. Yeah, it was uh, so. But no, I, I was able to finish on time. I, I completed just about as many orders as I normally do. Um, I was just a little bit more stressed about it. Um, but uh, once I fall into it and I know exactly what I'm doing, like repetition is key. Like I'm gonna start becoming like by the end of the day, I was flying through some of those orders that usually take me a little bit longer because I did like 20 of those high school orders today, man. I was just damn. By the end of it, I was just my 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 fingers were flying on that keyboard like. So it's it's just cool. Uh, like I said, by the time I get some stuff, you know, get get down into it, it's going to be like, you know, by the end of this month, I'll be I'm, I'm going to be awesome at it. And um, I'm very in, like my integrity is pretty strong. So, yeah, uh, I don't see any problems with them and they're going to love me. And I hope they give me a great raise in a year from now. They're going to love you just like we love you. Yeah. Wait, All you guys of love us. me? I All thought you us. guys tolerated me. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, <laughs> yeah, we love you, man. Misha yeah, used me yeah. for a room on Sunday. I did not. I asked and you said yes. You could have said Then he made no. me take sexy photos in a robe. That did happen. I, made me, forced me. Even. I did. Okay, wait, wait, hold on. No, no, no. I did not force you to. You, you no, suggested I'm literally it. the one that suggested it. Oh, by the way, Ruby, I've seen Misha's dick. That also did happen. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's crazy, some, though? What? They're nothing good like no, nothing like happened between us. It was just oh no, a bro seen another bro's dick. Well, guys, bro, this bro is taking like, pictures for a bro. Bro taking you, pictures for a bro. You saying that makes it sound gayer. It's like the oh, shipping it's gay as fuck, but like the sh the shipping in the comments is insane right now. I can feel oh the yaoi God. happening oh. as we speak. Is it yaoi if it's two furries fucking? Yeah. I was gonna say, isn't that just? Yif? I thought it was. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Yowie is Yowie is uh, a very specific type of gay romance. Oh, is it a specific type? 
I always yes, just thought it was like very, all encompassing. Like no, anime, no, it's romance. No, it's very specific. It, there are certain criteria you have to meet to be a yaoi. In fact, there's a yaoi about what makes and does not make a yaoi and it's really funny because it's about this author and he's new to writing yaoi or like making manga and he, basically he just makes a porn and then the editor is like this is not yaoi what the fuck he's like what but it really does like get stiff when it's hard it's like the verbiage is so awkward he's like no it's gotta be like it's it's gotta be all that that ook and semi shit it's so specific i <laughs> am very passionate about yaoi sounds like uh, it and put that on my tombstone. I want to create merch now that says I'm very passionate Purely about Yowie. Passionate, it. About Yowie. <laughs> passionate about Yaoi. Passionate about Yaoi. Loved by many. To, to, Loved by many. Away. Passionate about Yaoi. To, to suddenly pull away from all this. Ruby, did you watch the last episode, the live episode? Yeah, no, I know you I don't typically really like... I was going to say, you, typically you don't watch episodes because you don't like yourself and things, but you're not in that one technically. I, I, I do watch episode. some of them, but oh. I will watch that one. I, I was actually saving that for the airplane ride because I'm going to try to go to Awu this weekend. Oh, hey, right. Where's Awu? Uh, I know your friends were trying to get you to go to that. Yeah, uh, Bolty wants to go. And well, I really want to see them. You were planning that for so long and then your leg. So actually, we, I guess we should ask yeah, that. How's leg? Yeah, how is your leg? People were actually oh. really concerned in the live chat. Well, thank you, chat, for being concerned. It's, I mean, it's still not great. So I worked the last two days, and uh, I think I heard it a little more. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um, I know. And, but uh, I have another appointment on the 17th, and I'll know more then. Oh, that's good, at least. I think we'll know on the 17th days. if I'll need surgery or not. Oh, damn. Yeah. All right. Did you, like, get the guy's information? No, it was a hit and run. Shit. So you can't even fucking No, I have to pay for all this. Medical. God damn it. Yeah. Nah. I, I've been very distracted lately, chat. Sorry. But uh, for in my defense, for a good reason. I got hit by a car. <laughs> yeah. Actually, so funny enough, and you'll have to watch the episode. You can, It's explained a little bit more in the episode. Uh, I cut my hand come. today, too. I have That's a busted it. hand now. I fucked up my ankle first day at Anthrocon. <laughs> oh my so god. I That's for you. I actually didn't fucking uh, walk the parade with Misha. I I don't regret that after hearing how oh, long yeah, it no. was yeah, and no, like no, how hot right. it was. I'm so glad I didn't. But like, I also was like, so Ruby doesn't come. Cov- bleh, Ruby doesn't come. Wink. Stop. <laughs> yeah, hold on. <laughs> hold on. But Ruby doesn't come to Anthrocon because of the, the hit and run. And then I immediately... Being a goofball, running away from friends as a like gig, little, little gag, and twist my ankle like, oh, I almost ate shit. You know, if it, there's two things. If I absolutely eat shit, that means I really hurt myself because I never fall. Yeah. And if I almost eat shit, that means I did it pretty bad. I, I, I almost, because like when I went to recover, I had to step on that same foot again. And that second step was like, I might just go to the ground because it was pretty bad. And I was like, no, I don't want to fall. <laughs> so I, I didn't. And then I just had to limp everywhere for that night. And then the best way I could describe it is, again, it wasn't like hurting. I could just tell something was wrong with that leg, which is yeah. typically when you know you didn't do something. You did it pretty good. Yeah, you're just like, ooh, this is not correct. This is <laughs> I. It's the fact that you can feel the leg because normally you don't really feel. Your yeah, legs, you know? but like I man. was very aware that I had a leg. Yeah, that's when you're like, uh oh. <laughs> it wasn't like pain. <laughs> it wasn't hurting. It was just like, yeah, you're there. Discomfort. Yeah. Actually, speaking of uh, uh, my friend Captain, who I did not get to see very much in Anthrocon because goddamn that con is so Wh- which fucking Captain? busy. They're uh, from Oklahoma. And not the captain are captain, but they are pirates too, though. Oh, captain, my god, damn, they are captains, aren't they? God damn, uh, spelled with the C captain, not the K captain. Okay, uh, the K captain, shout out K to K captain. K captain. I love K captain, and I haven't spoke to you in so long, and I need to message you because I miss you. Uh, yeah, we are. but C captain from Oklahoma, fucking, I guess foam slipped under their foot while running around the whole day at the con that caused a stress fracture in their foot. Oh no! <laughs> they literally broke their foot at Anthrocon. Oh my god! It's funny okay, we can bully so them now over it, but <sighs> it's like I've talked to them. It's like, how do you? But and they're like, yeah. And I ran the whole con on a broken foot, basically. It's like, Jesus that's, that's a little pro tip I have for you guys: if you have indoor feet, 
what you do is you buy a pair of comfy Crocs, because Crocs are actually very good for support, and you put those into your feet paws if you're going to walk, in my opinion, over a mile. Mm. Yeah, I so. have athletic shoes in mine. Yeah, it's a lot of like ones are made over nice shoes, which is cool. And also, if your fursuit maker, ask them what type of shoe they're building over. If they're not, use the croc technique. And if they are building it over a shoe, still for the expensive shoes. Because a lot of fursuit makers will buy, you know, cheaper shoes, because why oh, yeah. wouldn't they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But you can be like, hey, if I send you a pair of shoes, can you build it over these? I have yet to meet a fursuit maker that wouldn't do that. And oftentimes it has to do for like health and orthopedic region reasons. I've had people send me shoes when I build fursuits, and these can be like $400 shoes, but it is worth it. So either ask them to not to save enough room for a shoe, use the croc technique, or shill for those $300 shoes. There's a reason feet paws are like $400, $500. Yeah, that's true. Well, if you get nice shoes in there, it's like $100 for the shoes. <laughs> Yeah. More than that, if nice, uh, like cheap shoes are a hundred dollars. Shoes that actually support you are three hundred plus. Oh, I, I, uh, yeah, the uh, the most expensive running shoes I had because I was I did do some running at one point in time in my life. Uh, they were close to three hundred. Yeah, yeah, the nicer uh, ones. And those motherfuckers 300. were needed. I think I have like I have forty dollar Walmart shoes, but I have like twenty dollar insoles in them, and I will say they've already changed my life because I was just wearing some <laughs> generic ass like. The, the like water resistant slip ones from Walmart that are like thirty bucks. Oh yeah. They're like the workforce ones. They're black or whatever. Cause I'm cheap. Look, I'm cheap. It's just true. And I've been wearing those for like the better part of like the last four or five months. And dude, my legs after working the the the, the gas station job are have been killing me. And then I bought these other shoes for Anthrocon because I knew I was gonna walk a lot. And I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna put some insoles in these bitches too. And Anthrocon was great. My legs didn't really beat me up too much. And then since I, I worked double, <laughs> that's why I'm so tired. I worked doubles this weekend because I was asked if I wanted to do Sunday delivery. And I said, why not? Because it helped cover some of the Anthrocon pain. That is true. So I worked I worked over 25 <laughs> hours on Saturday and Sunday combined. Um, I did spend a lot of money at this con. They spend most of it on food. That's, that's also good. true. But uh, some hot chicken, baby. But no, mm, that shit I, I, was so good. Fucking bad. <laughs> that shit sucked. Uh, the tie was great. The tie but... was awesome. It wasn't Nikki's tie, by the way. Everybody who may ask about that, Nikki's tie was the big one that everybody went for reservations with. We ordered from some place. Oh god, I can't even remember now. But it was it was on DoorDash or whatever, and it was fire. It was great. <laughs> As it said, what was it? What did Argo say? It had like the really bad, like the really. Like not great photos of their oh, food online. The, like, yeah, the blurry JPEGs and you the just blurry know JPEGs, it's be which good. you know that shit's gonna slap. Oh, yeah. Also, each dish, may, even though each dish was like thirteen bucks, it was also like two pounds of fucking noodles God, and stuff, huge, yeah. or fried rice. They were massive portions, so it was like it was so fucking worth it. Yeah. Two meals for sure on each one, so like you're yep. splitting that shit in half. You're you're paying less than what you pay at McDonald's now. You know what I mean? Yeah. But for some dope tie. But yeah, uh, I just know that I worked this weekend in those same shoes. Uh, my legs didn't hurt at all. So I'm like, fuck, I should be buying. I want to buy more insoles, man. 32 and I'm learning that, you know, you should take better care with your foot and, you know, buy good shoes and insoles. Support. I should probably do that, too. But no, no, but I and should probably do that. Also, too. another big tip. Floss fuckers change your life. I spent too many years not flossing, thinking, ah, it's not that big of a deal. It, it's like one of the biggest deals of uh, dental hygiene. Yeah. So. Uh, so Trump I, got shot. Uh, yeah, well, I, <laughs> I, I was going to say, I pulled up Twitter, and uh, Mark Sparks is posting about being oh. live on Twitch. Oh, I was just say what a, what a, like this is where you bring it back. It's just like no. a hard whiplash back to no, no. I I I I don't even think do we have to talk about it again? Do we have to? No. I'm fine if we don't personally. I know how big of and you can leave this part in. I know yeah. how big of news it is and I will actually post a meme about how I feel about it. So uh, copy image. I'm so tired. Meme. The only thing I was going to say and the only thing that I, I might make a YouTube video of is the concept of I'm just so very tired of living through historic times because I was born in 92 
And there was probably something that happened between 92 and 2000 that was historic too, but I was too young to fucking understand it. I know the MLB had like, or is it, yeah, MLB had like the umpire fucking strikes and stuff. There's like some things that were maybe historic. Oh, yeah. I can't remember when Columbine and that shit was, but like, I feel like that was also like in the late 80s, 90s. So like, I was gonna say, those I think... were not, those were historic at the time. Those were really big deals, you know, those like the yeah. start of that shit. Then there was Y2K. And then after what you say it was 9-11. And then after like somewhere between 9-11 and 2008 was the fucking Great Depression of 2000, late, the, 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 the late 20, yeah. the recession. Uh, it was like 2000. And then it's just I been think. every some odd couple of years within no more than half a decade has been something historic every fucking time. It's so cool. In our know. lives. And now we've survived, an, I, or now we're dealing with a presidential assassination. And like... I, I agree with the posts. My my thing on it. I do not have to sympathize with the fucker. Oh, but yeah, I do I have to fuck. say, for democracy to exist, you can't just go around assassinating people because then if you don't like the governor, then they should get shot. If you don't like the senator, they should get shot. It causes a whole breakdown of our entire system, and this whole fucking country will go to shit. So we can't do that. It has to be defeated in the polls. You have to go out and vote. We need to beat them in the fucking polls. I can't say my opinion on this because I don't want I don't want the FBI knocking yeah. on my door. That's <laughs> that's all I'm gonna say. I will say this. I will say this. My AD Twitter is amazing right now. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> that's I, all I'm gonna I say. I, I don't hold on. Do I not you? not not in a sexy way, but uh in in a way that people are posting their true feelings about this on Careful accounts with for, that, though. for like, just their friends. I am going to yeah. There's so much. There's so much I wish I would. Like there's so much I wish I could post, but I'm just not gonna do it for the sake of like I don't really. I just want don't want to give it attention. I I don't care enough. Yeah. And it's not that I don't care about history. Well, I'm actually... I was gonna say it's a historical thing, but also, uh, <laughs> it's like that's but that's a bad thing. That's also like a thing too, right? Like the the indifference is also it should be scary, right? <laughs> It should be. The indifference should be scary. Well, the fact that I I was yeah. kind of like, yeah, sounds about right. Like it figures this would happen. He didn't die. There's no. There's not gonna be any permanent damage, and he seems to be fine about it. So I'm just not that worried. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. No, people are more worried about the like the possible political like revenge that could happen I out of it. And I, if that's a thing, about that. if that's a thing, that's again, it's it's just heading towards a complete breakdown of our society at that point. Then, well, we know who the shooter um, was. He's a Republican, so yeah. Uh, I'm gonna wait to see more of that come out, but it does look like that off of face value from what has been found on like Rosa. the surface. Fucking we know that he trooper, voted right? Republican and that he has. Well, he hasn't voted. voted yet. This would have been his first. Well, no, he's not. <laughs> oh, he registered. Oh, he registered as a Republican, but oh, his, his first actual time to vote would have been in November. Okay, like registering. But... Do you have to do that? Like, I don't remember ever registering. Um, you have or... to register to vote, and uh, oh, yeah, and has that for time. So please register to vote, everybody. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Does it, does it yes. ask you when you register to vote if you want to? I forget what it you is. Don't have there's to a answer. way. Oh, there's okay. a way. There's a reason as to why you would, but I can't remember why. And I was like, I think part of it is them selling to you too. Like it'll. Yes. It'll, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just I don't remember doing that specific step of like, are you Republican or Democrat? Yeah, you don't have to answer that. Basically, okay. in this current society, I'm gonna give out the least amount of information society. to give any sort of party a reason to round me up and put me in a group. Some yeah. of it is what I'm gonna say. <laughs> Some of it is just like like for percentages and estimations and stuff because we estimate who's true. gonna win years before it happened. Like that's true. Yeah. Of, yeah, so that's Dude, a big I, part of it. Like, long story short, my opinion on it is you know just give them what they've been saying all these years, you know, thoughts and prayers, you know, he'll, he'll get over it. The same shit it sounds that like he already saying. did. Yeah, he went golfing the next morning, apparently. My, it's just my like... big, my, was, if anybody's like, uh, oh my god, did you hear? I'm like, but did he die? And then I move on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I think, as bad as it sounds, like, in in the moment it was happening, the most, most of the things I got was, President Trump got shot, dot, 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 but he survived and yeah. everybody just kind of like shrugged. It's Somehow like, Palpatine but, lived. Here's the thing. I want to, I want to make it incredibly clear. The problem here is not the fact that it, it's it, the real problem here is that the two candidates 
either or getting shot at and people not caring is the fact that somehow out of all of the politicians and all of the people that could run for presidency, these are our two fucking candidates. Dude, it's That's so cool. That's the fucking problem. Yeah, this is what's representing that. America, and it's not because America doesn't care. It's because we have, and this it's the old system. It's the old families that run Democrats and Republican parties, okay? It's just the fucking truth, okay? Biden shouldn't be there. Trump shouldn't be there. It's just the fucking truth. Biden should be, like, so... in hospice, chilling with his family. I think they should both be retired and enjoying their last years of their lives. Yeah, I and agree. Be trying like, to run the free country of America. I okay. I did say that at the bar last night when people were talking about it because I was there for a second. I was like, he should just like he doesn't have to die. He should just go to sleep. And then Andy laughed so fucking hard. Yeah, it's like people yeah. bitch about people at their age driving because their reaction times lower and they cause accidents and it's scary, right? My You're letting them speaking. run our goddamn country. <laughs> if you hear my dog barking, apologies, but also not apologies because you All guys right. like listening to dogs. Barking. We weren't supposed to talk about this. Yeah, yeah, we we kind of we kind of got off the rails there. But I might make um, a YouTube video about I'm tired of fucking living through historic times. <laughs> that wouldn't be bad. That's up to you. Um, I really want to talk about it. Oh, uh, <laughs> something that I ended up something that I ended up trying out at Anthrocon because I decided to buy some more undergarments um uh, i tried them back around like college area uh i figured out that back then i really liked the boxer briefs not just boxers boxers felt like too free boxers are weird i now like boxers i have found out oh this I is also boxers for like the weird. years that i've been free balling uh <laughs> fucking basketball shorts for years now so it's like well oh, duh fair. dumbass yeah <laughs> like there was a long time where, yeah, I, I mean, well, shit, during high school, I'd just go to sleep in jeans and pants or uh, and, and boxer briefs. And I'd you, just wake up and go. Jeans, too? You fucking animal. Yep. What the hell? Oh, I also sleep I would, in jeans. I, oh. would wake up, I used I'll to wake up ready to jeans. go to work or wait, ready to wake up and go straight to school. Like, it didn't matter. I was just ready to go. <laughs> Throw some deodorant on, brush out the hair, you're good. Just brush, eat, brush your teeth, go. Uh, I was very tip. efficient when I was in high school, college. Pro tip, hand sanitizer is a uh, works as armpit deodorant. I mean, technically. I have been in that pinch before. You, like, forget, and you're like, shit. shit. Yeah, you, yeah, you and you've got the little doing. bottle in the car, and you're just slapping yeah. that shit. <laughs> I, I keep yeah. a little stick with me now all the time, just because, like, I, I forget, you I know. Forward. Or, my, my dumbass, I'll put it on, and then I'll shower, and then I won't put it on again after the shower, <laughs> and I'm like, god damn it. Because to my to my brain, it's like uh, you put on deodorant today. You've done it. Mission accomplished. Even Mission though I just washed it off. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Mark Sparks. The thing I was gonna say. They both yeah. about being alive. And if you remember a few episodes back, because of course you watched it. If you didn't watch it, go watch it. We did a episode with Mark Sparks, or yeah, Mark, Mark, just Mark, Mark about Side Papa Barks. for the after bark. And we yes, they did. And we are now in the point where Papa Barks 2024 has begun as of last Friday. So by the time this episode comes out, it'll have been going on for a week. And just a brief, brief TLDR. It's raising money for a uh, ALS North Carolina. And yeah. it is a great way to give back and, you know, show why furries are so awesome and kick ALS's ass in the process. And basically a bunch of streamers, myself, Solace, and maybe Ruby included. What's up? How are we already there? All right. So initial milestone, the initial, initial goal is 25K to raise okay. this year. Yep. Which we've had, uh, you'd have to go back and watch the Papa Bark episode I, uh... where Mark did talk about previous, uh, previous amounts raised in other years yeah but we, we, we are b, 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 the tldr we're, the way we're raising money is a bunch of furry streamers is oh. what i was gonna say and then yeah oh, yeah so what are we to this is day we're reading this on monday this is like day four of it isn't it yeah realistically like day four it started well that's the wrong date that's when they made the account uh oh my god frenzy chaos is that's awesome no uh fucking already at, well okay so before the event le went live there's there's like already a couple grand already donated from sources yeah um but regardless we're over 13,000 now 13,532 and 55 cents so even with the pre-starting amount we've raised over 10 grand in four days hell yeah that's fucking incredible look at us go. um the highest Hi. amount was like right around 
seventy grand. It was like sixty nine thousand or something like that. Nice. I would love any of you out there. So we're gonna make a Papa Barks one or Papa. We're gonna make a a Bark Bark Meow one. Yeah. We all have we're our individual. Wolf Quest. We're all doing our individual things, but we are explicitly asking you. We'll be making it and having the uh, uh, link in the description below for Papa Barks for the next month. Where you could donate to our campaign that benefits Papa Barks. It's in, it goes to the Papa Barks campaign, but we do it on our side because we can set our own milestone. We're going to set our own milestone where we will do a gaming live stream here on YouTube. YouTube. Something you all haven't seen, something that you've all wanted, and we're going to play it together. And I think if we plan it out correctly, we're going to try and get Mark, Sai, and maybe even some more people from Papa Barks who want to join us on our oh, Wolf Quest adventure right. that night. Uh, we gotta try to plan it out. If not, it'll be the base three of us no matter what. Yeah. And maybe more. It will probably happen outside of the event. After it's over. It may happen during, but I have a feeling it's gonna happen after. Yeah. Because um, I think we're aiming for a... I think we said a thousand? A thousand? Wait, whoa, for, whoa, whoa. For us? What, what's our milestone for the group? For the podcast? Not a thousand to play Wolf Quest. Oh. Oh. I was gonna... I was gonna set it, like fairly low because we only if you think about it we're only doing like two or three streams during the event. i thought um, it i thought it was going to be if if accumulatively our separate streams raised a certain amount of money we would do the stream together no. oh, I, I was basing it on i have my own milestones thank you <laughs> yeah because uh, i was gonna say like i think we should have a small little like a small stretch goal then we should have the wolf quest one and then maybe like a big one that's uh, either like I'll shave know, my head or something. Oh fuck. I like, okay, I am not committed to that. I'll get a that. I'll get a tattoo. I'm trying to get a job, man. <laughs> I don't want to make any I I suddenly. really like okay, you. Somebody I'm tweet right. that uh, uh Ruby. I'll get a tattoo, Misha. I'm trying to get a job. Like, <laughs> like yeah. I cannot commit In this to shaving economy? my head, dyeing my hair state, or getting a tattoo. Way, none of that none of that matters. Real jobs don't care about it anymore. Misha, yeah, it's 2024. But I'm scared of needles, and I would look horrible. Ah, and, so you were using that as an excuse. And I see. blue hair pronouns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blue hair pronouns for sure. Yeah. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so only Tractor Supply cares about that. Right now, currently, we have uh, uh the gang plays Wolf Quest, so we need uh, we need to brainstorm, and you guys listening can help us out. out. We should have. I'm thinking a hundred. Oh, I'm thinking more than 100. Uh, I, I'm sorry, Misha. Our, our our community can do better than that. Yeah, but also, like, I don't know. Okay, maybe, 250. like, 250? That's fair. Okay, let's do, like, 100, for the, 100 for the small one, 250 for playing Wolf Quest, and then maybe, like, 350, 400 for the big one. I want 1,000 for the big one. I'm sorry. Good I'm God. Okay, we're going to have a bigger one, though. Look, Misha, the point is... To aim high, if we don't reach the thousand one, it's okay. If it's we don't supposed reach to the be thousand way one, the fuck I will out there. Shit and piss and cry. If we reach the thousand one, that's the whole point of it. The whole point of it is our community blew our fucking expectations out of the water and we fucking cry. I won't what? come. I won't call piss and shit and I won't come. <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's a, we'll have to brainstorm it. We're gonna brainstorm it on this that's week, insane. and we're gonna get set up. That's insane. Uh, <laughs> but I really want to incentivize our community. I mean, you already support us, guys, and I really do appreciate you. Yeah. So this is one of those things where we're just asking if you have a couple bucks, even a couple bucks. Uh oh, there's the whole it, thing. We we talked about it in the Papa Barks thing, but like a five dollar donation. To our campaign still counts for the Papa Barks campaign. Yes, yes. Put you in the raffle, and the raffle has like there's fursuits and there's gaming consoles and there's crazy amount of shit. Same raffle that you get entered into, and you could win. Yes. I think there's even like a fucking index or something. Like there's a VR set. A what? Oh, that's a okay. Got it. Uh, um, yeah, there's like a full VR kit. Like you have to look it up. Uh, we'll we'll, we'll post about it later. Uh, probably like link it down below because I yeah. have access to the. It's on the Papa Barks website for prizes. So yeah. help us help us come up with a small and a large stretch goal. If you're listening to this, oh, well, we can't uh, do that. What? Misha, we can't wait till Friday for this to come out for them to then give us an idea. We can set up the tiltify and have the wolf quest be the the thing I on it, and then we can, we can add, add milestones. We can add milestones. Yeah. Um, the big thing was mm -hmm. we can't add a milestone higher than our uh, dono goal because you yeah. can. No, you our can dono raise goal the has dono to goal, be like you can't thousand. lower it. 
Yeah, um, so we, we need to make the Dono go 1,000, but we're hoping to make 250 yeah. for Wolf Quest. Wolf and then we're going to like try and incentivize you with crazier shit after. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, definitely put down what you guys would like to see. Um, we can adjust it and edit it. Um, like I said, over the next month, if you can come up with five bucks to donate, A, it'll help us uh, reach our goals, our milestones, but B, you get put in a sick raffle where sick you can win raffle. some crazy cool stuff. Yeah. So it's totally worth it. That's why it's like, look, I know I'm going to donate not only to mine, but also I'm going to donate to our Papa Barks one. So I'm already going to help. I'm also probably going to donate to ours. Because um, I get two paychecks. No, I only get one paycheck. It's fine. I'll be fine. I'll still be able to donate at least 20 bucks. So Right. 20 bucks is a relatively decent percentage. You know, it's it almost is. 10%. That's four. So, that's four. That's four entries, too. Oh, I don't even care about that myself. I, 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 I'm such a, I'm donating for the charity, not for the hopefully win shit. I've yeah, always been but, that way. Yeah, but it's all, it, you know, who doesn't like free I stuff? could, I could, it's you know, personally. I, I, I donated to the horse charity and I won a fursuit out of it. That was, that was, that was fucking rad. Yeah, see? Oh. Like, you donate for the good of your heart, but like, yeah. you get chosen for that raffle. That's pretty fucking lit. That's. I was like, hell yeah, hell she, yeah. she. I would just, I just claimed it's rigged and tell them to push <laughs> I uh I've been a part of like every pop up bar. It's rigged if I win one. Have you won one every single time? No, I've not, not I only won one. Well, then that's the opposite yeah. of rigged. I'm just gonna say it though. It's gonna be like a meme. It's <laughs> rigged. It's clearly rigged. You're just like ah, oh, thank you for this reward, pop em, or uh, Mark. Your checks in the mail. Thank you so much for so, the reward. I I because I I really like I understand how much five bucks goes. Five bucks. If you go to like a Dollar General. Or like shop cheap, like you can make some. I can make five bucks go far. Trust me. Yeah. So, I understand it's a lot. If for some reason you can't afford that five bucks, and trust me, I've been there. In college, I was. I won't lie. College, I went to the Dollar Tree and pocketed some stuff because I didn't have money. Solace admitting to a crime live on air. Uh, in the same I mean, episode it's, it's we statute, talked about statute, Trump getting shot. The, the statute, FBI is already statute. watching, dude. Statutes of limitations. We're the FBI is already watching this episode. Statute man. of limitations. It was over ten years ago. Oh, okay. I'm uh, sure they'll understand. I mean, it was for fucking food. I literally I know, was I'm joking. Like, I'm joking. It was like beef sticks and stuff. It wasn't even like candy. It was like like straight up. I'm eating this for a meal. <laughs> I need to survive. So I've been there, is what I'm saying. And if you can't donate or you don't have the means to donate, because Tiltify can be interesting. Maybe you don't have the credit card or something that you can put it on, which is fine. I also heavily suggest don't put it on a credit card. Don't charge interest on a charity donation. I would much prefer if you could just, I hate to say, PayPal, debit, debit card, something that's not going to charge you interest down the line. Share. Share, 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 share. Share the links. Push it to your social medias. Let your friends and family know. Push it. Tell Push it's for, it. again, it's a fight against limit, ALS. Limit. ALS is a fucking terrible disease and affects way too many people in our uh our society and unfortunately there's a much likely chance that somebody in your family will eventually deal with it or somebody that you know will deal with it so uh you never know pushing it to friends family who will throw five bucks in and help raise this amount so like i said word of mouth and like getting that donation link out there is as important if not like even more important than a five dollar donation sometimes, so yeah, 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 yeah. I'm such a big, I'm such a big charity dude. I, I just, no, that's good. That's a good I thing want to be to change the world. Yes, and that's how you do it. Crowdfund a, changes to the world. That's a good. That's a good thing to be. There's no shame in that. Speaking of charities, Anthrocon raised a hundred thousand, which is the first time that Flock, a con yeah, ever raised uh, over six figures in the really? the weekend. Yes, I, that was I the big thing. That. For the for an event, attendees only raised over 100k. So that's crazy. That's is that crazy. with or without the uh, the Thursday refunds? Oh my god! <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't think they're doing that. Unfortunately, I don't think well, the refunds happened. You know, I'm, know just bringing up, oh. I'm just bringing up a little bit of drama because. Um, oh oh yeah. Uh, apparently, apparently. Um, Hello? Apparently. Sorry, I just lost oh, my train of thought. I just kind of texted. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You heard? <laughs> I heard the disconnect. I heard it. <laughs> Did you I guys heard... hear the It's like an old... T it's old. It's an old tube TV being unplugged. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, so apparently it was so busy that people could not get in on Thursday or something. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, I didn't get pre reg You didn't so, even try, though, right? No, I went to go to the line at 8 o'clock. It was already closed. Oh, fuck. I went there on oh. Friday. So the, I didn't... the line was too long on Thursday that it was supp- pre-reg was supposed to be open until 10, but that didn't mean they were going to keep letting people line up until 10. Yeah. They shut it off before 8 p.m. because the line was supposedly over two hours long at that point, and they didn't want to let force volunteers to be there till like midnight if they kept people lining up. Yeah. So they closed it. They had uh, basically, if you wanted to try, if you wanted to walk over to the convention center, uh, they had badge checks. They wouldn't let you even go over there because they didn't want people sneaking in the line. Because low key, your boy knows people, and I probably would have snuck in the line. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Not fair. Shouldn't do it. Don't do it. I'm a bad person. But no, they closed it off early for the volunteers' sake. I, I'll give them that. I just I, again, I'm gonna scream to high heavens. I did. I filled out my Anthrocon uh, the email, the the Anthrocon feedback experience thing. I filled it out, and one of the critiques I left in as many places as possible was mail in batches. <laughs> I don't. I know. There's a whole logistics thing with that. You can figure out logistics. Other cons do it. I was gonna say they should have, at the very least look into it. Like, that, like I said, it's getting way too big to be just in person. So red. say it's like first week of July. Say you don't. You want all badges mailed out two months prior. So in early May, first week of May, maybe you have to do an er, like add an extra five bucks onto the badges this year. Yeah. And you have to pay for a weekend for everybody to sit down and, and fucking mail badges. Just Do like it. have I'm have, worth it. I will pay like the a, five bucks to have it mailed, damn it. I'll pay ten bucks to have it mailed. Have like in person pre reg, but also have the option to pay like five like you said, five dollars more to have it mail in. That's and also the thing, yeah. Just have yeah. an opt in and opt out button. Yeah. Because some people are willing to stand in line for four hours. I will pay the extra ten bucks or fifteen bucks. I, I don't give a fuck. I'm not one of those people. <laughs> 10 to 15 bucks, I will pay that to get that shit mailed to me early, and then I won't have to deal with it, and I will just show up at the con and know I don't have to go stand in line. There you Hell, go. Hell, I'll just suit and go walk around the line and say hi to people. Yeah. yeah. Just, like, hand out a bunch of water to everybody waiting in line. Bro, I do that. I carry... There's not. Uh, there's a couple times I give out my bottle of water, because I always keep a, a thermos on me full of water, and I try to put ice in it in the morning, so that it's, like, always cold water. Hell and yeah. then uh, I carry at least two bottles of unopened water. That way, people know I'm not fucking with them either. Yeah. And, can I tell uh, you guys? A, can I tell you guys a funny story about water? Water. I'm such a bad water drinker. I don't know how to like really tell you guys how liter- I, little I drink water. I'm like a fucking koala. I do not drink oh, water God. ever. So much so that on uh, you know every other Wednesday when my body reaches its dehydration point and it's three p three a.m. on a Wednesday, I wake up in the middle of the night and drink three gallons of water because you know I'm dying. Uh, mm-hmm. It's gotten so bad that every time Andy catches me drinking water, he'll be like, "Good job, so good," because he's trying to like what's what's it called positive reinforcement oh, yeah. He's good drinking. boy good yeah you boy. you did it wow he <laughs> like give me kisses and shit just for drinking water but not only that he knows when i'm drinking water anywhere in the house because i will cough horrendously every time i try and drink more than a glass of water it sounds like i'm drowning you know what? Let me. Oh, I'll go watch. I'll go get a glass of water. No, no. Right? <laughs> I, wanna, I do want to hear this. I oh, also want to say. I feel yeah. like Ruby's existence is the dried out SpongeBob. It's the cra- It's a fucking enigma at this point, dude. I don't water. even get it. <laughs> so I need. I need a proper size. Fucking. Of so talk about of- size, King. I was gonna what? say that's what she said. Price submissions. Size. Let me look at price. Ew. I want to look at price submissions. Digital and traditional art pieces for Papa Barks, fursuit heads and parts, enamel pins, plushies, video games, gaming consoles, VR chart, VR chat avatar retextures, which means you will get yourself a, a custom reskin of any avatar. Apparel, some mouse pads, game mats, and other supplies. Other merch is going to be there. Lots of things. Lots of things. For a five dollar donation to any of our campaigns, so we'll be doing our individual campaigns, and we'll be doing the Papa Bark or the fucking God, the Bark Bark Meow campaign. We'll all give you an entry raffle to the. Uh, okay, charity. I did it. I got my water glass that I usually I also have. Want to laugh laughingly say while we've been doing this, 
Somebody has raised, or multiple people have raised another hundred dollars. It's up to thirteen six now. Let's go! I raised. So a, it's actively growing. I raised one hundred and eighty on my stream on Friday. Oh fuck yeah! Yeah. I'm, I'm. I think I'm too exhausted to do mine tonight. So no, I think I'm good. just gonna go get dinner and then I'm gonna go fucking hard tomorrow. I'll do my Anthrocon recap tomorrow. Let's go! I'm playing Pokemon tomorrow. Which means it'll be a suiting stream. Ooh, oh, I do want to play Pokemon. All right, let's hear that water drinking. Okay, Maybe. somebody else read. Somebody read the Patreon while I, mean, I was gonna say this is oh. absolutely how we're ending the episode. <laughs> That's great. Okay, yeah, I'll try and drink the whole thing because in the middle of the night, I'll drink this whole fucking thing without like I say without stopping, but it you, you have to hear it. How I do I? I did. How do I make it so it it doesn't noise cancel? Because so go I, to Discord. Uh, you gotta go to Discord. You gotta go to your settings. Okay. And then it's gonna be down to audio, uh, voice and video. And then you gotta scroll like it's a little bit down, like almost halfway down. There's noise, noise suppression. The, 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 there's your solid stumbly. Uh, so noise solid suppre stumbly. Noise suppression. And there's crisp, standard, and none. And you want to click none. Okay, none. No, no, oh, no video background. Voice no settings. Video. Hard. Uh, choose a sound. None. Advanced. The yeah, video hardware. codec hardware, and then just below that's noise suppression. Okay. I, I keep wanting to say sus suppression. Why do it, I want to say it's sus? It, it, fucking sus. All right. Uh, right before you start okay. drinking that water, go ahead and let me just start reading off that Patreon. Okay, here I go. You have All to. Right. You have to count it down. Count ready? it down. Ready? All right. Yes. Three. Count it down, Ruby. Two. Oh. Oh. Oh fuck. Uh, Ruby's the one drinking. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh, 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 uh, thank you so much to Argo. <laughs> thank you to Little Man. Thank you to Embryon. Thank you to Nez. You can't Little hear me Brian. drinking the gulp. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Oh, thank we can P, hear you. Loriafia, Simply Lego, Landon Yeen, Ooh. Sycamore, Bowie Barks, Heartless Hero, Pip the Badger, Raze, Fio Firefly, <laughs> Corleone, Kai, Quint, Carnelian, Fox, and Steve Pony, and Ankara. Your, your support oh my is God. very you much appreciated. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? Ruby, how are, you, how are you alive? What the hell? Why do you sound like you're like you a sound zombie? Like a baby dying. in a fucking airport, dude. <laughs> you sound like every fucking <laughs> baby open mouth dry coughing. <laughs> so imagine uh, at like three in the morning hearing that from the bathroom. <laughs> Jesus. You know what I fucking and... hate? You know what I fucking hate, Ruby? <laughs> that this no. is real? <laughs> <laughs> no, I hate the fact that you had that this is your struggle with water. But if I told you to chug a white claw right now, that's the next thing Yo, you would not sound like that. Please don't. It wouldn't no. sound like that at all. No, no, and and we can't. We I have a lot of meal around my house because I can drink like iced tea and uh, lemonade and flavored water. It's just <laughs> regular. <water>. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Jesus, uh. Ruby, I can smell that from here. Ah, uh, it's not good. <laughs> Hat bro. It's water. It's just water. Yeah, which means to a therapist about that because like that sounds like gut. that sounds like a <laughs> mental thing more so than Are a you drowned thing. as a child. Like uh, yeah. no, I'm a really good swimmer. <laughs> typically, this might be a meeting with a therapist, dude. For real, I've got serious like water trauma. <laughs> Like, like what, what memory did you black out? I have been waterboarded before, but I don't think that has anything Whoa. to do with drinking water. Did you know something you were supposed to, or were, were you just Christ. like, what? How did that even? I thought I've talked about my waterboarding experience on the podcast before. I don't remember you. Talking I don't know, about but it. I feel like I feel like that's a story. On ne episode. yeah, next episode. Next episode <laughs> of Dragon <laughs> Ball Z. We talk about how Ruby got right. waterboarded. Can I end this on a dad joke that I heard the other day? Oh, uh, let's hear it. That was pretty good. What do you call friends that you go out to eat with? Us. Close. What? Misha. What do you call them? Taste buds. <laughs>